so this is the topic of annuity exercise 14.3 and question number 3 find the amount of an annuity of 1500 payable at the end of every 3 months <coughs> uh, that means the payment was 1500 and uh, it it was paid at the end of end of every 3 months so it is paying at the end that means it is the case of ordinary or regular okay that is the first thing you should understood next and it was paid every 3 months every 3 months that means for a year it 3 months means it was a quarter part of year right so for a one year it was uh, that that means so four payments he can made in the entire year the sub parts are every 3 months if money is worth 12% per annum compound look at the last sentence he said uh, compounded quarterly in some questions this word doesn't exist then that means you should understood that after reading the entire question the question is compounded quarterly and at the end this word indicates that is a regular payment so what is the payment first write down steps so write down payment payment is that means emi easy monthly installment it was not monthly installment every 3 months he is made in there so it was 1500 rupees okay it was 1500 rupees now next rate of interest was R was given twelve percent, and now calculate I. So we know that it was a quarter payment. So I equal to R by four hundred. So the value of R is twelve percent divided by four hundred. So four got cancelled three times. So three by hundred means how much? Zero point zero three. <coughs> clear now number of installments he pay that means the value of n is 4 every 3 months he is paying an amount so n is 4 now amount equal to we know that formula amount a equal to payment of 1 plus i whole power n minus 1 whole divided by i okay so that equal to so payment was 1500 and 1 plus i means 1.03 whole power 4 minus 1 divided by 0.03 now a equal to use logarithms to calculate this value and i will show you another app so it was 1.03 so 1.03 whole power 4 that means double square that was 1.12550881 and after that minus 1 then it will be 0.12550881 and it was divided it was divided by 
zero three. Then it will be four point one eight three six two seven, and it is multiplied with fifteen hundred. Now this is the amount six two seven five point four four. So the amount is six two seven five point four four rupees. Now this is the answer.